and you use like a lot of computers and you do all kinds of stuff. Yeah. How did it get to be so broad like that? Uh, I mean, I, I think I just have a restless mind and um, I, if I don't know how to do something, I'll teach myself how to do it. And sometimes you're pushing, 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 and you end up uh, at the edge of where there's even uh, any format. So then you have to invent your own technology and your own uh, stuff to, to make the project happen. But usually I'm like following an idea and I'm following it with a sort of relentless, obsessive thing. And that leads me into weird places. I mean, I guess that's true just in life. Yeah. You end up in weird places you weren't planning on going, chasing this idea down or this, this thing, this, this thing that you wanna see happen in reality. And to me, that's like the essence of making art is, uh, is kind of a relentless pursuit of something that you, you, you have the idea, but you can't really picture what it, what it looks like until you see it made. And then that's the breakthrough moment. And, and ideally, uh, if that's a breakthrough for yourself, then uh, that, I believe, in my opinion, that's the thing that translates in art is the breakthrough, uh, even a hundred years later, you know, a bunch of people that try to copy your breakthrough, but it's no longer the same breakthrough. Or, or they could copy a style. It's never about a style, it's just, you have a breakthrough in the studio and that will read forever because people can feel that energy is, is recorded in the, the object. That you're right, like, like this thing you made where you said, you were waiting for the 3D printer to, to do its thing and you had scissors and paper.